Hey guys, my name is Michael Laji and I'm your YouTube Comic Consultant. Here to consult you about variants, what they are and my exclusive comic book hack. Basically, the question that, that you guys are asking me right now is, what are variants? Well, variants are, it's the same comic book, but different covers. Case some points. Let's say Secret Wars issue one. The same Secret Wars issue one, different cover. Now, I bet you're thinking the content inside is different. No, 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 no. It's still the same content inside. Case of point again. Issue one or Secret Wars. Different variant covers again. But the same content inside, but the front cover is just different. Now you're thinking, what? What is it about these variants that makes them so different and everything like that? It's, it's the best way to say it in layman's terms, different front covers, better sales for the comic book artist or not from the eyes as such, but I will say um, the market for the publisher. It helps him sell the comics easy. You know what I mean? Because let's say, does this comic book cover look interesting in comparison to this one? Which one would you go for? This one will apply. If I look at this, if I was younger, as a kid, it will call my attention more in comparison to this one. Yeah guys, the next step is ratios. I know you're thinking, what's ratios going to do with variants? But I'm explaining to you right now. A comic book store will have ordered a stack of 20 comics, they can get one variant for it. Or if they order a stack of 50 comics, they get another variant to that. If they get order a stack of 100 comics here, they get a much more rarer variant to that now. Now you're thinking, what's that going to do with it? I'm going to let you know. The higher the ratio of comics they order for themselves, the comic book store, the more expensive that variant is. Edge of Spider-Verse, yeah? Issue two, the first appearance of Spider-Gwen. Now, I have a comic, I have that comic. I have two appearance, oh, well, I have two versions of it. Now, I have the variant and the normal edition. I'm not bring that out right now. That's that's the way it's always safe. But basically, Spider-Gwen is basically, uh, it's, it's the spider bite, biting Peter Parker, it's biting Gwen Stacy and she becomes Spider-Woman. And in her world, Peter Parker dies, not her. I know, right? Yes, you can order that online, you can read that comic, and you can find out all what's going on with her stories. But anyway, back to what I'm trying to say, is that there's a variant of it, and it's worth 25 quid, up to 100 pounds. I haven't seen anything cheaper than that anywhere else so far, you understand? I have got a comic originally for what? At the time, two pound 50. I was very pleased, I got another one. But I didn't realize the, the potential value behind it. Now, my hack. Yes. As you can see here, this is a normal generic comic. Now, it's got two barcodes, and you think to yourself, what, why is, what's that important? What's that so important about? If you notice the second one, it has 00111. Now, the first number tells you the issue number, the second number tells you the variance number. And the third number explains to you the print. So this is issue one, variant one, first print. Action Comics issue, what, 957. Now again, whoops, if you zoom in to here, look with your x-ray vision or zoom vision, zoom, and just look right there in the second barcode, it says 957-11. Yeah? Now 957 explains the issue number. That's the issue number. 957. Now the number in the middle, the one, represents the variance number, which is the original front cover. And the second number represents the print, which means this is the third print first print, not third, first print. You see? Does that make sense to you guys so far? Cool. Now we're gonna we're gonna go there now. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go to a different type. Now we're gonna to go to Marvel. Now, as you can see here, this is Secret Wars, issue one. Two of them are the exact same comic inside, but clearly they've got two different front covers. Now let's go with this one first. Double zero, one, one, one. So you know what this means. First issue, first print, first variant. Or along those lines, first issue, first variant, first print. You know what I'm saying? Now let's go to Marvel. 
Marvel's a bit different now. You can tell they're variants because they explain it's a variant edition. You know, the most of the Marvel comics, well, majority of the Marvel comics now, Marvel comics, have variant edition put on there. Now, if I go to the side, it says 00121. Now, that's telling you it's the first issue, second variant, first print. Well, guys, unfortunately, it's come to a time. It's the end of today's consultation. How did you find learning about variants? Did you find that handy, useful? What about the hack? Did you really know that? Please write your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Michael Edgy and I'm your comic consultant. See you at our next consultation.